When testing continues this year after a hiatus during the pandemic, this year's scores are going to count. Christy Diaz gives us a look at what's at stake as students try to show what they've learned. In 2020, the pandemic put testing on hold for everyone. Last year, it was optional, and if a student did take it, it could count for as little as 0.01% of their total grade. But this year, it's back to normal. Districts are required to have 95% participation, and the scores will count. After a two-year pandemic that turned the education system upside down, there are some butterflies. We recognize that we've got kids that have got learning gaps that have taken place over the last couple of years. And so I do think there's some anxiousness on the part of adults about what is this testing season gonna reveal? That's Kevin Bales, Hall County Deputy Superintendent. He says, in a way, it's nice to get back to a sense of normalcy, but he admits the stakes are high. For high schoolers, these tests will account for a fifth of their total grade. That is a big change, because now we're back to our 20% mark. And so we have a lot of high schoolers that have a vested interest to make sure they do their absolute best. For elementary schoolers, it could decide whether they move on to the next grade. But the Georgia Department of Education says most districts have waived that pass fail requirement this year. Hall County says they're not mandating summer school, even if a child fails. They'll work with parents to figure out the best solution. Lisa Morgan with the Georgia Association of Educators says students deserve a little grace this year too. No matter how much we want to say things are back to normal in our classrooms, they are not. State Superintendent Richard Wood says the DOE has worked to quote, make sure this year's scores set a new baseline instead of being compared to prior years. And there is not not an expectation that scores will immediately return to where they were prior to 2020. Bale's best advice? Eat great breakfasts, to get sleep at night, and to do your best. So perhaps what's most at stake school designations. The U.S. Department of Education is still going to identify the bottom 5% of schools for an improvement plan based on these scores. Districts expect to get the store scores back sometime in late May or early June.